Hey, this is Matt from Vesquan. Today is Wednesday, January 5, 2022. The markets are selling off this afternoon. We are down at the lows of the session. We have strong range. We have strong volume and trading at the lows of the session. We are trading below yesterday's lows as well. Um, getting some weakness coming in here on the heels of the FOMC meetings uh, minutes that came out here uh, just a little bit ago. But we're trading down near the lows, and we've got some price action that's taken place here that is something that we can throw in to discover and see what it has led to as we approach the close. That's what we're going to be doing this afternoon. So let me go ahead and get this set up, and we'll look at some price action-based uh, studies here. I'm going to grab all four instruments. The setup will be based upon entering the market long at 3 p.m. Eastern Time and exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time. Now, this morning, we opened very flat, so instead of uh, putting much in here, in terms of gap direction, I'm just going to say that we opened within the prior day range. Um, we both basically opened at the prior day closing price. And then I'm going to hop into this post open filters library and I'm going to start describing the action that we have seen so far. Um, so one of the key things that stands out is we do have good range coming in now. We've got about 56 points of range. Um, our current ATR is uh, just over 30 or so. So that puts us over 150% of the five day ATR as an intraday range. So I'm going to add that piece of information here. Um, put in a minimum of 150% of the five-day ATR as an intraday range. I also want to add the price action. You know, we've opened closer to the highs and we're trading down near the, the lows of the session. So I'm going to say that the open is in the top 25% of the intraday range and the close is in the bottom 25% of the intraday range. And then I also want to say that not only are we trading near the lows, we're trading below yesterday's low. So I can do that over here in the intraday close versus daily levels. I just scroll down a little bit till I see below prior low. I'm going to hit equals next to that, and that's going to mean that the three o'clock price is below the prior day uh, low of day. So um, we are currently down below it by a way, so I'm assuming we're going to be down there at three o'clock. All of this stuff would have to be confirmed at three o'clock uh, for it to be applicable. Um, but that's where we are trading right now. And then the last thing I'm going to do is just put us in a similar market environment. We are um, coming off the heels of a close that was above a 10 and 200 day simple moving average. So I'm going to add both of those and then click view results. All right, here we go. These are the results based upon entering the market long at 3 p.m. Eastern time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern time when you open within the prior day range. And at 3 o'clock, you have already achieved 150% of the five-day ATR as a daily range. The open is up near the highs of the session, uh, defined as top 25% of the intraday range. The 3 o'clock price is trading below the prior day low and in the bottom 25% of the intraday range. So you have a very directional uh, daily candlestick that is forming, and you're currently trading below the prior low. And this is in the... Backdrop of being a bullish market environment, which I've defined as above a 10 and 200 day simple moving average. Now, historically, we've got 38 samples in the S&P. We've got 40 in the NASDAQ. We've got 33 in the Dow, 45 in the Russell. Win rates on these are mostly similar. The S&P coming in at 39% of these have closed above that 3 p.m. price. Uh, for NASDAQ, it is 38%. For the Dow, 33%. And the Russell's more neutral at 53%. So three of the four are pretty weak on win rates there. If we look at the average moves, the average loss is larger than the average win for the S&P. Uh, that is not the case for the NASDAQ. NASDAQ has a bigger average win. The Dow and the Russell both have larger average losses. So as a whole, it looks like the bigger moves have taken place to the downside on average. And if we look at the win rates, uh, historically, more often than not, as a group, these have continued lower uh, past that 3 o'clock price when this pattern is in place. So this has been uh, fairly bearish historically when it has taken place, and this is something you'll need to confirm at 3 o'clock to see if it's going to be true for today. You'll need to confirm those filters to know if it is, but currently it is all true based on the way I built it. So hopefully you found this helpful. Good luck today. We'll see you next time.